Hello everyone! Under art appreciation, let's tackle about understanding the functions of humanities to the life of man. So what is humanities? This is one of the required subjects in college. Generally, it is a set of discipline that includes grammar, philosophy, literature, history, and music. The meaning may differ to different people in different ages. As the word suggests, man is the center of humanities. The term is derived from the Latin word humanus, which means human. This concerns humanity. It records or interprets man's thinking, feeling, regrets, aspirations, failures, and what he is supposed to do and not to do in the world. Since man is the center, humanities provides him solace from the boring world of every day, the privilege that other subjects cannot give. In the world of the academe, all other subjects center on the fulfillment of man's practicalities such as food, clothing, shelter, and others. Humanities are not concerned on these things. Art that is the byproduct of humanities is looking at things beyond matters. In arts, man has found a simple relief from the discomfort brought about by the world of so much unfairness. Why study humanities? The relevance of the subject to the course is the most usual question asked by the students regarding the inclusion of humanities in the curriculum. Well, at first the question sounds reasonable. It is true that the subject does not direct anyone to finding fortune. It does not teach anyone how to produce rice, but farther into the deep of humanity and shifts the question with its credibility. The question becomes a demonstration of a complete ignorance to the true meaning of life. If this world is made up only of material things such as food, car, money, sex, and others, then the artists have no right to inhabit this planet. They can live somewhere in the limbo where perhaps a decent being recognizes the reason of the artist's existence. To equip students with culture that is necessary to complete his being, it is the basic reason why the subject humanities is included in the curriculum. This is the culture that frees man from sticking into the madness of the world. Man is highly cultured if he could live happily beyond the things that satisfy only the practicalities of life. St. Thomas Aquinas said, Art is opposed to the practical. Art is not concerned whether man has fine dresses, delicious food, or if he has money. Art is concerned on something that lives beyond matters. Novelists write without thinking of any monetary return. They do it because there is something that they want humanity to understand. Students should remember that total human development as the meaning of education does not mean to finish a degree, find a job, or work abroad and gather wealth to ahip them, then come home to run for a certain political position in his town. Like the artist, men should labor beyond the value of money. So these are the branches of humanities. The humanities can be grouped generally into three, namely fine arts, practical arts, and performing arts. So first, let's talk about the uh, fine arts. So fine arts, it is a creative art, especially visual art, whose products are to be appreciated primarily or solely for their imaginative, aesthetic, or intellectual content. So, sa fine arts, it includes first the painting. So, this is a kind of art which main process is applying color or pigment to a surface. There are different mediums and various types of painting. Another is the literature. So this is a kind of art which main medium are the written words. There are two main classifications, the prose and the poetry.
Another branch of humanities is the performing arts. It includes a range of disciplines which are performed in front of a live audience including theater, music, and dance. Theater, music, dance, and object manipulation and other kinds of performances are present in all human cultures. So, sa performing arts, kasali dyan ang dancing. It combines movements of feet, hands, and body in rhythm. Its aesthetic element is seen on the unity and harmony of movements. Next is the ballet. This is a stage performance of narrating a story by combining dance and music without a dialogue. Another is the singing or music. It is the art of putting together the sounds in order. Its mediums are either human voices or instruments, or a combination of the two. And then, next is movie. It is the motion picture that blends together the fundamental and vital elements of music, painting, literature, and music. Next is theater. This is another form of stage performance of a play or drama, which basic medium is dialogue. Another branch of humanities is the practical arts. It is an art or craft as woodworking or needlework that serves a utilitarian purpose. So, sa practical arts, kasali dyan ang sculpture, it refers to the breaking and or fusing together a hard stone or other shippable materials to represent something imagined or real. This is an art presented in three dimensions. Next is architecture. It is an art of designing and constructing a building or other type of structure. Materials include concrete, brick, wood, steel, glass, and plaster. With the advancement of technology, other forms of arts also emerge. Some of these are cinematography, graphic arts photography, and others, which are not mentioned in the groupings of art above. There are other forms which the Committee on National Artists of the Philippines had considered. These forms of art are passion in design, film and broadcast art, visual art, mural and historical literature so that's all for this topic and here are our references so i'm your teacher may leaving this message of aristotle the aim of art is to represent not the outward appearance of things but their inward significance thank you so much